Have you heard about the case against Baxter Healthcare in Louisiana? Let me tell you how this story gets started. The plaintiff, Mr. Vallette, and the intervener, Mrs. Bringens, had a heart valve replacement surgery by Dr. Gimbison in 1988 with the artificial heart valve manufactured by Baxter's. But one day, Mr. Vallette read about the news that uh, Baxter had decided to voluntarily suspend the marketing of this type uh, of heart valves. Um, that's why he uh, filed a product liability action against the Baxter for recovering his fears. Later on, Mr. Springens intervened this case. However, this district court granted the defendant's motion for summary judgment. Of course, the plaintiff and the intervener appealed, uh, but the court affirmed again. You want to know why? Because the plaintiff and intervener couldn't recover under Louisiana product liability law, which has to prove the product is defective, and this defective aspect can cause uh, legally cognizable injury to the plaintiff. Let me tell you more details. First, in order to establish the defective product, they need to demonstrate the product is dangerous. However, the implanted heart valve were functioning well and greatly improved their lives. Therefore, they failed to prove the risks of uh, Buster's heart wells outweigh its benefits. Second, the plaintiff intervener um, argued uh, it is uh, defectively manufactured, so in, in order to create uh, factual issues. Um, but the mere possibility of manufacturing supake defect is not sufficient to establish the only possible cause. Third, they uh, try to dispute that the product is defectively designed. So um, the plaintiff in, in, and the intervener alleged the material of the heart valve is not well suited because of the per, uh, possibility of forming uh, this kind of defect and may eventually leading to the stretch uh, stress factors. Um, as we discussed earlier, the product benefits outweigh its risk. At the same time, the defendant argues um, that there's no better materials out there available to reduce this kind of problems. Um, plus, it's plenty failed to show the relevant, uh, re relevant evidence. Um, the family, um, the plaintiff and the winner argue that the defendants failed to warn them the risk. Listen, the follow, they learned intermediary uh, doctoring. Under this doctoring, manufacturer only needs to inform doctors instead of the patients. Furthermore, according to the uh, summary judgment, Dr. Gimbason won't change his decision to proceed with, um, with Baxter's Hardwells, uh, even with the uh, adequate warning.